Hey, Forrest here. Nothing like getting paid. And with ICCU's mobile app, I can deposit checks or accept Zelle payments so the money hits my account fast. I just wish there was an app for mowing the rest of these lawns. Right now, Lithia Ford of Boise is buying used vehicles. How much you want for the SUV? Uh, I don't know. Well, Lithia Ford will give you more than that. How much more? More than you think. I'm not thinking anything. I'm thinking you might get even more than that. See how much more you can get at Lithia Ford of Boise. When it comes to concrete, we've got you covered. Ropaint.com offers custom concrete coating services for your garage, business, warehouse, and more. And we do it in one day. We are your complete concrete coating solution. It's time for the Lithia Ford of Boise Post Game Show from Bronco Nation News. We're breaking down the game with highlights, interviews, analysis, and most importantly, you. Give your thoughts on the game in the YouTube chat or Facebook comments, and we'll include the best ones on the show. Check out LithiaFordBoise.com to view their full inventory of vehicles, or check them out at 8853 West Fairview in Boise. Now let's head out and join BJ Reigns for the Lithia Ford of Boise Post Game Show from Bronco Nation News. Hey, Boise State fans, how are we doing? BJ Reigns, Colin Mitchell with you after Boise State uh, wins this one. A nice, impressive victory uh, here tonight. Colin, would you mind trying to find me some final stats? I'm sorry. Uh, I just realized I don't have the final stats on here. If we can get a book or something. Um, Maybe over on the other side. I'm not sure. But uh, Boise State wins this one. Final score of 80 to 59. We got highlights. We got interviews. We got all kinds of stuff to uh, get to. And uh, before we even get going, I wanted to, uh, by the way, get your comments in, get your thoughts in. We'd love to have all that good stuff. But I just wanted to uh, show you something here in, in just a minute. You should be able to go hopefully under me, sir. There you go. Um, well, I'll show you in a second because. I'll show you in a second. It's going to be pretty cool when you see it. But Tyson Degenhardt had 22 points. You had, uh, let's see here, what else did we have? We had 17 from Abbo, 16 from Najee, Najee Smith. You had 14 from Max Rice. And here's what I was going to show you. This game's been over for, I don't know, an hour almost. And there's uh, Mr. Nganga working on his game. So maybe not getting into the game as much as uh, he would have liked at this point. But look at, look at him over there uh, working on his game. Only person still in the arena. He's back out here in his practice gear uh, working on his game. That's pretty impressive, and uh, hats off to that young man who's uh, probably you know disappointed he's not playing as much, and uh, he's out there working on his game, and you're going to see him out there in, in no time uh, for Boise State. So I just wanted to show you guys a minute there that uh, you know he's out there working hard here an hour after the game. On a, on a Saturday night, he's back in the gym at uh, whatever time it is working to uh, – working to uh, work on his game. So hats off to uh, Mr. Nganga there. Uh, we'll, I, we'll need to see if we can get a, I've got, the, I've got the one for now in here. We're, we're okay, Colin, but at some point we'd need to get a book. We'll figure it out. Um, maybe when Nate comes back. Um, but uh, let's see here. 80 to 59 is the final score of this one. Again, as I said, we want your comments. We want your thoughts. We're going to be in the uh, ICCU YouTube chat here. So um would love to uh, hear from you. It's a Saturday night, but it's not too late. It's eight fifty, so let's uh, let's fire up the uh, the show here and, and see uh, see what we got after uh, a Boise State win. By the way, the Mountain West uh, you got the UNLV I think is beating Nevada, um, so you've got some interesting uh, scores uh, going on right now. Kurt says seventy one percent shooting. That was uh, for the in the first half. They ended up fifty nine. By the way, fifty nine uh, percent. So. Uh, pretty impressive. Greg Myers, uh, player of the game, Marcus Shaver, assists, rebound, driving to the basket, shooting the three. Uh, yeah, let's see. He finished with uh, eight points, but he had uh, five assists, did have four rebounds. He was doing a lot maybe despite not scoring a ton. Uh, Tyson Degenhart uh, probably does get the the uh, Matt Bauscher, Bauscher Real Estate player of the game. We'll have to see uh, later on. But 22 points. He goes 10 of 11 from the field. He was one of one from three at four rebounds and that three hit, by the way, kind of looped around and then just fell back in. That was uh, super impressive uh, from uh, Tyson Degenhardt. Yep. 10 for 11 from the field. We got a uh, great game, great energy. Congratulations, Broncos. Uh, let's see here. Awesome. Uh, was surprised to see Burke Smith as the first big guy off the bench, uh, but he looked more confident than Silla and Milner. Yeah. He let a three go from the top of the key. He certainly was uh, a little more, uh, a little more, uh, you know, eager to be in there, I guess. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I thought that uh, 
I thought that was uh, impressive. And I think, you know, Leon Rice was sending a message. You said Burke Smith earned those minutes. Burke Smith deserved to be in the game and uh, in practice. And, and uh, yeah, Lucas Milner did not play in this game. Um, they didn't use the bench very much again. They didn't sub till there was 645 left in the second half. So they went like 13 something minutes without a sub. Um, but uh, I thought that uh, I thought that uh, it was very interesting to see Burke Smith get some time. It really was. Uh, keep working. Broncos went through uh, Colorado State like smooth butter. You said 80. Josh said 80 is 67. Thought I was optimistic. That yeah, was a what a game. A great win. Need more from the bench. Wonder why Milner didn't play. I think it was just because. Um, I think it really had a lot to do with the fact that, uh, you know, they just thought that Burke Smith deserved the minutes. He, he, you know, for whatever reason, neither one of those guys has done much this year, and, and Burke Smith's w- working on it in practice, and and uh, deserved to get in there. So uh, lost a bet because Abbo got a rebound with 30 seconds left. Need you to roll back the tape and get a breakdown. Uh, I didn't didn't see that. Uh, a lot of top 25 losses. Boise State's going to get some votes. Um, was that your buddy? Uh, that was Colin's buddy that uh, lost the bet there. So uh, make Colin pay it. He'll he'll uh he, he's got the cash. Um, I'd like to see Degenhart run the press break uh, with his size, ball control. Yeah, Jace Whiting, uh, you know, done a lot of good things for this team, but Jace really struggled a little bit in the press break. Picked up his dribble a little bit too much. Um, I, I thought that uh, that was certainly something that um, um. What do you think about President Trump sitting uh, courtside? I think it's a distraction. Is Pete one of your friends too? Okay, I don't think that's a uh, I don't think that's a uh, distraction that the president of the university is sitting courtside. Um, I, I I mean that's where I think she probably should be sitting. You want her to sit up in the nosebleeds? I mean she's the president of the university, so uh, I don't have any issue with that. I don't think that the players are too worried about that. Uh, crowd was electric tonight. Fun game. Fun crowd. Uh, let's see what else we got coming in here. Um, Let's see. Some of the comments went away. I thought, oh, there's that Mamba mentality. Uh, that's what it's all about. Props to him. They're talking about uh, Sada and Ganga being out here on the court. I did talk to, by the way, uh, Nico Medved, the head coach of uh, Colorado State, and we can go ahead and play that. I thought he was very complimentary of uh, Boise State. Nico Medved one-on-one with Bronco Nation News after the game. Obviously, you guys struggled from three, and they were lights out tonight. I mean, uh, what, what's just your general takeaways, I guess? Oh, they're, they're a really good team. They've got really good chemistry, and they're playing with a ton of confidence, too. You know, they're, they're really well connected on both ends of the floor. I think the guys do a terrific job of understanding their roles, and, and they and they play so well together. And, you know, they got good shot makers. I thought, you know, a couple of the threes they hit early, some of them were well defended. And But then, you know, we, we, we I thought, got a little spread out defensively, allowed too many easy scores. And, man, once you allow a team like this to get going, it's very, very difficult. And we made a couple of runs. You know, we battled. But every time we did, a team like, you know, like they did, they just were poised. And they just made a play to never quite let us catch them. What is it about their their, their depth and I guess just the, they don't have a big bench, but the five starters they got are obviously all all contribute. Oh, they're 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 terrific players. When I mean, you look at a kid like Tyson Dagenhart, I mean he, uh, you know, you could argue he is a player of the year potential in the league. What he brings to the table, he's such a difficult matchup, uh, makes winning plays. Uh, Max Rice is an unbelievable shot maker. Uh, uh, um, Ogbo is really really coming on. He's a good athlete. He's long. He defends, and he's a tough shot maker. I mean. He's got such a high release, and he's 6'7". And, boy, if you're not, I mean, all the way up on him, you allow him to get it off, it, it looks like it's going in. So, again, they've got good players. Uh, they're well coached. They've got good chemistry that way. Um, and they'll be a tough team to beat. I mean, you guys were 4 of 22 from 3. Was that just an off-shooting night, or was it their defense or combination? Both. I mean, I think you got to give them credit, too. They do a good job of challenging shots with their length. And then sometimes when that happens, then we also had a lot of open ones that didn't go in. But sometimes you have to credit them for making some of those difficult. And maybe you're not in a rhythm and shooting them with enough confidence that way. So it's a combination of both. You think they're going to have a, a say in the, the league race here down the stretch, obviously? Well, say they're already <laughs> right there. They're in it. I mean, obviously, we're getting ready to start the back half, you know. And so, um, as you know, uh, the month of February uh, can get long. Uh, things can change very, very quickly. Uh, but I, we've seen all the teams now. Uh, um, I think they play as well as anybody but you know you're only as good as your last game right that's kind of the way this stuff goes but they got a a a group of veteran guys they've been there before they know what to do and 
I expect them to be there at the end. A couple of their players talked about you guys got them twice last year. You guys stormed the court on them last year at the end of the season. They, they did say going into tonight that might have fired them up a little bit. Big crowd atmosphere tonight, I guess. I mean, did, could you tell? I don't know. Did, did BSU seem pretty motivated for this one? Or? Yeah, they did, but I don't know. I mean, it's a new year. It's a new game, and they're, you know, different faces, <laughs> too, on some of the teams. Our fans stormed the court for all the games last year. <laughs> so it wasn't, no offense to Boise, but it was just kind of a thing that our guys did to have fun. But no, we were fortunate enough to beat them, you know, twice last year, two uh, high, highly, highly contested games. And so, listen, we we know this. You're going to get everyone's best. That's a that's a veteran, uh, tough-minded group, and they don't beat themselves. You got to beat them. Well, we appreciate Nico Medved, uh, the head coach at Colorado State, for giving us a couple minutes. We're going to try to uh, give you guys uh, interviews with the opposing coaches, uh, at least at the home games when me and Colin can split up a little bit. He went in and got the PSU players, and I uh, got Coach Medved, and we're going to try to, at least for the home games, give you the opposing coach perspective because I think that's a pretty uh, interesting thing to hear what they their perspective on the game, and particularly when BSU wins, kind of what they saw, what they uh, thought went wrong for their team, what worked well for, for Boise State. So you, you certainly won't hear – uh, or read Nico Medved comments anywhere else in the Boise market, uh, at least can tell you that. So appreciate him for taking a few minutes and uh, chatting with us. We have uh, six minutes of highlights to get to. We've got Coach Rice. We've got players. So grab yourself a uh, Cutwater cocktail and settle in with us here on the uh, Lithia Florida Boise postgame show. More than 30 flavors of pre-mixed premium cocktails. You can get one at your local gas station or grocery store. We're in the uh, Cutwater Studios, uh, mobile studios here at Extra Mile Arena. Rowpaint.com has got that 15% deal going still. Don't, don't, uh, don't wait. Schedule your appointment now. Use the promo code BNN15 and you get uh, 15% off. How about that? BNN15, 15% off on your interior painting. So check them out at Rowpaint.com. Lithia Ford of Boise. They're paying top dollar for used cars and trucks, even if you don't buy from them. It's all done in three easy steps. You can share your vehicle information, make an appointment, and get a cash offer from the appraiser while you wait. Hassle-free on the spot. So you don't even have to buy from them and they'll uh, buy your used car. How about that? It's a great deal. So Idaho central credit union, ICCU.com as well. Um, the, so happy that the Reigns family and Bronco Nation News uh, switched over to Idaho Central Credit Union. Uh, just the, the easiest online banking experience I've ever had. I never have to go back in. I can do everything right from my phone and my computer. And uh, we have all of our business personal accounts. Our car loan is through them. We can make the payments there. It's just so easy. So uh, what are you waiting for? Make the switch today to Idaho Central Credit Union. And uh, you certainly will not be disappointed. As I mentioned, we got uh, Colin Mitchell here helping out. He uh, hit, We had uh, Jaden Finch, our intern here. We had uh, Carson Stoning, our uh, graphics guy, getting some video and photos for us too. We had we were four deep again, Colin, at, uh, for Bronco Nation News here. So all of your subscriptions, all of your support is uh, making it possible for us to continue to expand our team here at Bronco Nation News. And we had uh, four people here tonight. And one of those, as I mentioned, obviously was uh, – the great Colin Mitchell, and he put the uh, highlights together. So let's take a look at the highlights after Boise State wins this one, 82-59. Again, a nice crowd. They announced it at over 12,000 tonight, a record crowd uh, for this one for Boise State, the ninth largest crowd in the history of uh, the arena for a Boise State basketball game. Starting out early, Max Rice getting it going with the three. Of course he does, right? Another nice game for Max Rice. Uh, Boise State got it going early. You, when, when you're rolling, you're rolling, and this is kind of the night it was going to be for Boise State. Tyson Degenhardt gets it to roll all the way around the backboard, the rim, rolls around. That made it 6-0 Boise State early. And then uh, Najee Smith right at the end of the shot clock. That made it 9-2 Boise State. You had to cut the crowd fired up there early in the game. Multiple times in this game, Nico Medved just kind of threw his hands up in disgust because uh, that made it 11-4 there on Tyson Degenhardt. There were some tough shots that Boise State hit where there really wasn't a whole lot that they could do. Great pass here to Najee for the dunk. Nice find from uh, Tyson Degenhardt. That made it 13-4. to But Colorado State started to come back. Three straight buckets there from uh, Isaiah Rivera. There's one of them right there. They cut the uh, deficit to 13-10. to And then Boise State uh, got it going again. Max Rice, nice little uh, finger roll there. Made it 15-10. to Section 12 back there. They added the uh, Jeremiah Dickey uh, fathead tonight. Shout out to uh, the Blue Collar Club and those guys. Had it working again. And Max Rice had it working again. There's a three that made it 18 to 12. And again, Colin Mitchell, Bronco Nation News with these highlights. We appreciate him. Max Rice again. That makes it 20 to 14 at that point with 10.21 to go in the uh, first half. Now you get Tyson Degenhardt going to work, backing down his man. Nice move there. That made it 22-18 as Colorado State had really come into it. And then Shibuzo Abo got going. 
He hits the three there. That made it 25 to 18. Tyson Degenhart scores on the interior. Nice reverse layup there makes it 27 to 18 as Boise State went on a 17 to 0 run. There's another part of it. Najee Smith makes it 29 to 18 there. He had some free throws from uh, Chibuzo Abbo and then another three from Abbo right in front of uh, Nico Medved. And I'm not sure if you can see it. Yep, he just kind of throws his hands up. Not much he can do there. And a couple more free throws made it a 17 to 0 run. Finally had Colorado State end the run here with uh, Isaiah Stevens there. He had a nice, uh, nice game. But Abbo again. That makes it 42 to 26 with 54 seconds left in the half. And then right before the halftime buzzer, your clock's ticking down. Three, two, one. Degenhart with the left-handed layup, and he gets it to go at the break. Boise State led 46 to 29 at halftime. A really impressive end to the first half for Boise State. Colorado State really tried to make this a game in the second half. They got going there with the three-pointer from uh, Jalen Lake to start the uh, second half. Colorado State, uh, again, there was uh, John Tanji there, and that got him back to within 12. Nice bucket there from Tyson Degenhart. Put Boise State back up 51-36, but Colorado State went on a nice little run here. He had a couple turnovers, a couple buckets. Isaiah Stevens there cut it to 51-40, 11-point game, but uh, that was not it for Colorado State. Another bucket there from Stevens. It's a six-point game all of a sudden, 51-45. to Leon Rice needed timeout, but uh, Marcus Shaver with a huge three-pointer there, and then Najee Smith had a, a bucket here in transition all the way to the hoop. Nice. He, his last dribble is outside the three-point line, by the way, and then he scores that, and that put Boise State up by 11 again, 56-45. You had an and one here from James Moores. Makes the free throw. That cuts it back to an eight-point deficit, but Boise State... Inside to Najee Smith for the slam. That was a nice dunk there. Nice block here. And then Tyson Degenhardt takes the charge. Just a heck of a play on both sides. And uh, and then Boise State gets out in transition. Max Rice with the nice uh, pull-up jumper. That made it 60-48. to 48. Tyson Degenhardt is going to score here on the nice pass from Max Rice. That makes it 62-48, to 9.49 to go in the game. You had uh, Colorado State hanging around, though. Nice up step back three for Stevens. That cut it to a 10-point game with nine minutes to go. But uh, when you need a big bucket, you just find uh, Max Rice. Oh, that was Marcus Shaver. Excuse me. Marcus Shaver hits the three, 65-52. to 52. Gives Boise State the 13-point lead. And then that was great. Jace Whiting hits the three. Uh, you, know, you could have had Abbo try to take it all the way, but he, he smartly found uh, Whiting. He hit the three. That put up Boise State by 15, and uh, that was pretty much it. Boise State uh, going on a big run down the stretch to finish the game. Nice for the uh, computer numbers. You had Abbo hitting the three from the corner there. That made it 73-57. Boise State in transition again. No call there. I was surprised by that. And... Uh, Boise State able to uh, really get it going and and uh, just kind of ran off the clock at that point. It was a really nice uh, way for Boise State to finish out the game. Tyson Degenhart adding to his total there with a couple more buckets. I think he had one more here in uh, 80 to 59, the final score. The time runs out. Boise State winning this one by a score of 80 to 59. Boise State is uh, going to win wins the game and uh, a super impressive win for Boise State. Helps the Ken Palm numbers, helps all the computer numbers, and certainly was uh, a nice win uh, for Boise State. You see uh, Buster Bronco fired up there after the uh, after the game, and a lot to be excited about if you're a Boise State fan uh, for this one. Boise State again wins it by a, a final score of 80 to 59. Uh, uh, maybe you can uh, see if Nate has another uh, packet stat packet. Uh, Colin, thank you for that. Uh, but uh, we got some comments rolling in. We will go uh, check on those. Can we get Jaden Finch on? We'll try to get him on at some point. We will. Uh, let's see. Uh, can't dislike him as much as I did Larry. Uh, yeah, Jordan, he's a nice guy. He's a he's a pretty nice guy, and, and um, I really enjoyed him uh, giving us the time. Will this season have the largest attendance in the last decade? I would think it has to. Um, I don't have the exact uh, numbers, but uh, I think that it would have to. Thank you. Um, 
they're they're certainly doing pretty well at the attendance. And again, they're counting it differently now. It's it's uh it's a it's distributed tickets, not butts in the seats. So the last couple of numbers, last couple of years, the numbers have been a lot higher. Uh, CSU's offense looked really good at times. Credit to our defense to hold them below sixty. Yeah, another another Mike Burns special holding the team up below sixty points. Boise State's uh, defense. Let's take a look at that if we can. And see where it ranks now on Ken Palm. Number eight, the number eight ranked defense in the country belongs to Boise State. And uh, as a uh, programming note, I do have a uh, feature story on Mike Burns that's going to come out uh, next week, probably on like Thursday morning ahead of the San Diego State game. But uh, I talked to Mike Burns for about a half an hour. And man, that guy can tell some stories. So I got a big Mike Burns story coming out. I've talked to some players, talked to Coach Rice, and I got to write it now, but I think I have a good story. So uh, we'll see. Uh, good crowd tonight. Uh, Got to keep it going. Uh, again, the announced attendance was over 12,000, I believe 12,021. Hunter says uh, basketball school. Boise State 47 and 7 since the arena was changed to Extra Mile Arena in 2019. Also, the year Trump was appointed the president. Uh, maybe her presence is what the team needs. I. <laughs> Not going to quite go that far, Pete, but appreciate you uh, making the leap there. Uh, James says, I like seeing Shaver and Whiting on the same time in relief for the other players. Uh, Stevens is such a baller. CSU seems a lot better than a 10 and 12 team. Yeah, I mean, they had three games go to overtime. They've had a couple other close games. And Stevens also missed like a month with a, with an injury. So that's why they lost some of the uh, games earlier. UNLV up two at the half. Thank you, Melinda. 35-33. Greg Myers up to 25 and Ken Pond. Yeah, and they were 29 because uh, they had dropped a couple of spots. Uh, so they did go up four spots uh, with the win. Uh, let's see. Trump is the GOAT. Uh, yeah, I think uh, – Trom sitting courtside had, was not going to be a distraction to the players. Uh, whoever said that earlier, I, I just disagree with you on that. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to hear from uh, Leon Rice. We're going to hear from uh, some players. But first, want to thank a couple more of our sponsors. If you're looking for a new job, how about the trucking industry? Transportation Compliance Service can help you with the permits and things and get you out there towing a load as a truck driver in no time. Whether it's the Amazon truck in your neighborhood, the big rig on your screen, transcomservice.com can help you every step of the way. Check them out again, transcomservice.com. If you're looking for a new dentist, I highly recommend Boise Dentistry Co. Dr. Chris Miner. My whole family goes there. I just saw him earlier this week. Full family dentistry. Those are my kids on the screen. So whether it's uh, the the you know Boise area, Caldwell, Mountain Home, everywhere in between, and you know yourself, your parents, your grandparents, whoever it is, full family dentistry uh, and wellness. Boise Dentistry Co. Make sure you check them out. Find they have five locations now in the Treasure Valley. Find a location near you at BoiseDentistryCo.com. United Commercial Insurance 229-8222. UnitedCommercialInsurance.com. Uh, check them out. They can write business policy insurance in 44 states around the country. So if you're looking to lower your business insurance rate, I know we got a lot of business owners that watch the show. Check them out. 229-8222. UnitedCommercialInsurance.com. And Ridley's Family Markets. Go download that Ridley's app. I've been telling you guys about it for a while now. Uh, but uh, it really is a, a game changer when it comes to saving money. So uh, the CUNA location, I love uh, going to that one. Um, but uh, Colin, I don't see the uh, highlight. The uh, I know you sent them, but I don't see. I didn't get the uh, post game interviews. If you wouldn't mind sending those again. Uh, but uh, yeah, they didn't come in. Sorry. Um, but um, where was I here? Oh, Ridley's Family Markets. I'm sorry. We're getting uh, Leon Rice uh, loaded up. We'll have that for you here in a minute. Uh, but the Ridley's app. Go download it. ChopRidleys.com, find the location near you. There's 13 Idaho locations, and I uh, highly recommend if downloading the app and then uh, going over and uh, getting some exclusive savings at one of the uh, Ridley's stores. So uh, we got uh, the players coming in now, and then we will uh, bring them up. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think I'm putting them in the wrong spot. You might have to do it again here. Save to downloads. Yeah, you're going to have to send the players again in a second. I'm sorry, Colin. Yeah, we're doing this on the fly, folks. I apologize for that. Colin is doing everything perfectly and i'm trying to host a show while uh receiving videos here through uh, airdrop so i apologize uh, for that and we'll give uh, ridley's family markets some extra plug here with them on the screen but uh, i think now we can finally bring in the players here uh let's see here i'm doing something wrong colin they didn't oh let's see here uh there's the players there they are all right, I gave Colin a heart, heart attack there. He's not sure what was going on. But uh, Boise State, again, wins this one. Final score, 80-59. to 59. We got uh, Tyson Degenhart, Shibuzo Abbo. Let's hear from them after the win. 10 of 11 from the field. Had you been 10 of 10, you would have tied to knock a beard. So how good did that performance feel? It felt great. You know, um, this is a team, or Colorado State's a team, where if you don't you know, take care of them, they can hang around and they can beat you. So um, they're a lot better than the record says. And, we, we prepared really well this week. We were probably our best two practices the past two days, and we came out firing. What do you think was working for you specifically? We just got the ball moving. I think, what do we have, 19 assists? I mean, 
our goal is 16, I have eight in each half, and we were just moving the ball really well, and we were getting each other open shots, and everything was falling for us. Uzo, uh, Tyson's stat line, 22 points, 10 of 11 shooting, one one from three. How incredible is that? Uh, that's amazing. And, you know, it, it makes it so much easier to play with good players like Tyson, you know, when teams are having to double him or, you know, always being aware of him. It just makes it so much easier to play. How, uh, how, how it's up, we'll see when they don't double him. Uh, he, he's going to go get a bucket every time. We're just going to throw it in there and let him go to work until they do because eventually they're going to have to. Question for either of you. 17-point uh, run in the first half. What, what's it like to be in that moment when just kind of everything's going right for you guys? So it's a great feeling, you know. Um, just we, everything's clicking for us, and it's that special feeling that like you're kind of in that zone, and everything's working on the offensive end, and then we're getting stops on the defensive end. It just provides a lot of energy for us. Mm -hmm. Uzo, you're throwing up some threes with like a guy right on you. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, just how confident were you feeling? And when the first one comes, are you just like, all right, I'm gonna kind of just keep shooting? Yeah. Um, there's some shots where it just goes in, and I just feel really good after that. Um, and then after missing a couple, you know, you kind of got to settle down and realize, okay, I'm not hot anymore. Um, but when it was going in, I just felt like I had to let it go. Tyson, it feels like a couple times this season when you guys are trying to break a press, yeah, maybe it gets done, but it's probably a little more uncomfortable than maybe you wanted. Are you guys expecting to get pressed more the second half of conference play? It's just Am I seeing something different that you guys feels like you guys struggle a little bit breaking the press sometimes? We've definitely struggled with the press a little bit this week, but I think we, we made a big jump from the first half to the second half of this game and we started to figure it out. I don't think we turned the ball over as much, especially in this game compared to Fresno State. So we're still a work in progress, but uh, we're going to be ready for any team that presses us in the future. Rosa, you had 13 assists in the season coming into the night. You put up seven. Mm -hmm. how, how does that happen? Uh, coaching staff challenged me uh, this week just to be, you know, more than a shooter, um, get other guys involved, be able to get some assists. So uh, that's something I was focused on this week, and I think it translated well today. Did you expect to be a seven? Uh, I don't know. I was just passing the ball, trying to get guys a shot. So you guys were in for the second half, like the first like fifteen minutes or something like that. Were you just feeling so good that you didn't want to get pulled, or coaches like want to let it ride out a little bit? I guess with all the media timeouts and the timeouts that coach took, we kind of got, you know, went in like almost two minute increments. And you know, with those timeouts, we were able to catch our wind a little bit and uh, we were just able to play through it. Tyson, the, the, uh, the last game you guys played here, like the start was not good. And the start tonight was, was like the exact opposite of that. Like, how much of that was a, was a focus for you guys? And what did you think of the way you started? It was a definitely a night and day difference than Tuesday. Um, we really had a focus this week in practice of attention to detail and focusing throughout the whole game, including the start. So we had an episode of getting out uh, early, and it really paid off for us tonight. The, the, the first three you made, I think it was the first three you made. How many times did I think bounce on the rim? It had to have been like three or four. I, it felt good coming out of my hand, and I saw it was a lot. I'm like, oh, great. And it had, had kind of bounced up. I'm like, oh, it still has a chance. And then it fell in, and I was like, sweet. When, when something like that happens, uh, as a basketball player who played this game a long time, do you get any sense that Maybe it can be your night, something like that goes down. It definitely kind of felt that way, especially with that one and then the one right before the half, the little floater just kind of rolled around the rim and it went in. I'm like, I guess it's my night because you know sometimes a lot of the time those don't fall, and uh, that's what just falling the night. Please do that floater too, man. You, you let that go to the left, didn't you? Yeah. Have you working on there? I've worked on it before, just haven't uh, shown it yet. Did you just have to get it up early because you saw them? They were trying to like take a charge right there. I think I think there was you know like two or three seconds left, and I made sure just to get a shot up. You know, I don't never want to like not get a shot up in that situation, especially when you have the ball that close to the hoop. And I saw him trying to take a charge and you know, tried to avoid it as best I could. Tyson, you were on the, the receiving end of some great interior passes today. What were you seeing from your teammates get the ball on you? They have great vision. Um, you know, Bruzo had seven, Shaver had five. Um, you know, Max had two, Jace had two, you know, we always, we have a great chemistry and we kind of know exactly where each other is going to be in any given moment. So we're just clicking on offense today. You guys saw Colorado State to four of 22 from the three-point range tonight. Why do you guys continue to be so good at three-point defense? I think we just have an emphasis of running guys off the three um, and just being there and the help defense and peeling. So um, coach is getting on our butt about it every day. Um, if you don't have to stick hand up, you're running. 
So it's getting conditioned into us every practice. Burke Smith got some run there. I know you guys have probably watched the tape and whatnot, but overall, what was your, uh, you know, Leon's obviously trying to do certain things. He must have had a good week in practice. Just, you know, do you feel comfortable with Burke being a bigger part of the rotation? Absolutely. You know, he's, he's been grinding each and every day, you know. There's been games where he hasn't gotten any minutes, and you see him out in the ox gym shooting and getting that work in, even though he didn't play. And so it's a testament to him and his work ethic and his grind. You know, even though like things aren't going his way, he's still going to do what he needs to do. I feel like we have a lot of guys that you know don't get the playing time, but they can help us any given night on um, win. There's a video you get of nine threes. Um, I don't know if that's a career, but it's got to be darn near a career high for you. What, what's that like for you to get that? Uh, it, it felt good. I was feeling confident. Um, I think coach was feeling confident with my shots too, so I was letting them go. Uh, but I don't think I overdid. It. I don't think I shot any crazy shots, so I was feeling good. How, uh, how much does your confidence just continue to grow as you, you play more and more? Oh, each day, especially just getting more comfortable. Um, you know, with my teammates too, just knowing where everybody's really good at. Um, you know, obviously digging the post and throwing the ball in the post. Um, but yeah, just every game, every practice, I just feel like we're getting better. Um, I'm getting better, and we're just gelling more as a team. Well, there you have it, uh, Chibuzo Abbo and Tyson Degenhardt. Again, Tyson Degenhardt, 22 points. He played uh, 38 minutes, 41 seconds. He was 10 of 11 from the field, made his only three-point attempt. He saw in the highlights there, kind of uh, rolled around and went in there. Um, but uh, he also was one of two from the foul line. He had four rebounds, three assists. Uh, plus 20 was Boise State when Tyson Degenhart was in the game. And then uh, Chibuzo Abbo had 17 points. He had a t- plus 21, uh, seven assists also for uh, Abbo, as you heard there in the interview. But, uh, yes, 17 points, seven assists, six rebounds for Chibuzo. And he's a guy that, uh, if you remember, basically went scoreless, I think it was, in the first game of the season. So uh, to have uh, – you know, him all of a sudden doing some of the things that he's doing uh, for Boise State has been uh, been huge uh, for Boise State here to see the evolution of uh, Chibuzo Abo from where he was at the beginning of the season to where he is now. And you got to give Boise State, you got to give the coaches credit for a lot of things, but the improve, you know, what they saw in him and his improvement. And then a guy like Najee Smith comes in from Juco and the player that he's become 16 points, uh, four rebounds, uh, team high plus 22 when Najee Smith was on the floor in 30 minutes and 50 seconds. He was uh, six for eight from the field, made all three of his free throws and even hit that three pointer that you saw there. So I think a ton of credit deserves to these coaches for a guy like Najee Smith and their development with him uh, these last uh, couple of years. Hey, we're going to hear from Leon Rice, the head coach, in just a minute. But first, the Blue and Orange Store. Make sure you check them out, theblueandorangestore.com. You can get free shipping any order over $40 online. That's right. Just go to theblueandorangestore.com, make an order of at least $40. You get free shipping at theblueandorangestore.com. You can also go visit their store in person, the second floor of the uh, Boise Town Square Mall. It was over at the mall today and saw the Blue and Orange Store was packed with people. So all the uh, NIL shirts, all the gear, the coaches sideline apparel, the retro sweatshirts, and a ridiculous selection of hats as well. Make sure you check out the blue and orange store.com. Bowser Real Estate, the number one ranked realtor in the Treasure Valley yet again, is Matt Bowser and his team at Bowser Real Estate. 243 8222 is the phone number at Bowser Real Estate.com. No, uh, no house is too big or too small for Matt Bowser and his team. Let them take care of you at uh, Bowser Real Estate. Com. And I mentioned Timberstone Golf Course on the pregame show. Heading out to get another lesson from uh, Tad Holloway here uh, this week. Highly recommend Tad and his private lessons. They've been, uh, I've had one lesson and I already feel like a much better golfer. I've, I've figured a lot of things out on my swing in one hour long lesson. So um, don't wait till the weather gets better to go start working on your game. Work on it now. And uh, the range is open and um, they're getting the, the private lessons going. They can get you fitted for new clubs as well. Make sure you uh, check it out. Again, play Timberstone.com. Com. We uh, are here on the uh, Lithia Ford of Boise postgame show, Bronco Nation News. Uh, my name is BJ Rains. Colin Mitchell is here as well, working hard, putting the uh, interviews and the highlights and doing a lot of things behind the scenes. So we appreciate Colin. I got to give him a shout out. He covered the, the women's game two nights ago. He covered gymnastics last night, and now he's here doing uh, the men's game tonight. So three nights in a row, he uh, gave up his night to uh, provide uh, some coverage and cover things for BNN. So I uh, do appreciate uh, Colin for doing that. Now I am paying him now. He's no longer an intern. He is getting paid. So I, I got to throw that in there, but he's uh, he still uh, did a great job the last three nights. And we uh, do really appreciate uh, him for uh, what he's doing for Bronco nation news. And like I said, he's putting in the uh, highlights and things behind the scenes. So uh, any news on Milner, Melinda says, uh, Nope, no news. I think he just didn't play very well and lost his spot tonight to, uh, to Burke Smith. So uh, Max Rice uh, reminds me of Damian Lillard. 
Um, why do some of the shorts have one stripe? Some have two. Oh, and the shoulder of the jerseys. I think some guys might be tucking them under. Uh, I think they might be tucking them under. I don't know the answer to it, though. Uh, Damian Lillard is what uh, Trevor said twice. Um, drop those quarter zips on the site. Let me purchase uh, from Trevor Thompson. I'm not allowed to uh, not allowed to sell them. We'll, the, I got, well, we're working on that, but as of now, Boise State is not allowing me to sell any merchandise. Uh, so I got to live uh, live by the rules. Colin does it all. Daniel says, "Well, we now know you're a friend of his, so we're outing you here, Daniel." And we uh, did look at the tape, and we have uh, we're not sure on your your bet which way it should go. Uh, but uh, that was a that was a that, uh, no no re- no rebound according no rebound. So you should have won according to uh, according to Colin. So unfortunately, that's not the final word. Uh, Max had an off night and had 14. Uh, coaches uh, deserve to be compensated well. Well, they are compensated well, but yes, they are doing it. Kareem, where were you tonight, man? Kareem the Dream. I didn't see you after the game. I'm, I'm used to seeing you after the game, man. Appreciate you usually for uh, for stopping by. But uh, yeah, nice win tonight for Boise State. Um, let's see. Kurt Blake's calling you the slacker from ASU. Uh, wow, shots fired from uh, Kurt Blake. Well, I think Colin's going to remember that at the golf tournament uh, when, when it's time to serve up the next uh, beverage uh, for you there, Kurt. Uh, that wasn't uh, very kind of you. But, uh, again, now Boise State shoots 59.2% from the field. They go 29 of 49 uh, from the field, 11 of 24 from three-point range. Uh, that's, what, five out of the last six games or something like that where they've made at least 10 threes. Uh, they've been shooting the ball very well from the outside. Also, 11 of 13 from the foul line as well. They shot well there. They did get out-rebounded 30 to 25, but uh, that kind of happens when you make a lot of shots sometimes. There's not a lot as many rebounds to get. Um, but uh, let's see here. They had the, the big stat was 19 assists on uh, 29 buckets, and he had 19 assists and only eight turnovers. So I thought Boise State played uh, really well. But again, uh, only three points from the bench. That was a big three pointer from Jace Whiting, but you didn't get much of anything from the bench tonight. And uh, also, um, I, I just, you know, you didn't sub till there was six minutes and 45 seconds left. So we'll see if it's sustainable, but they're not getting a lot of bench production right now. And that is, has to be a little bit of a concern uh, moving forward. Uh, Kareem the Dream on a Saturday night doing some homework, man. That's, uh, how about that? We'll see you at the Wyoming game for sure. Uh, well, props to you, Kareem. Appreciate that. Nice work, man. It was crazy when Leon Rice said that. I'll see you guys in two weeks uh, in terms of the home game. There's not another home game for two weeks. They have two road games this week at Air Force on Tuesday, which, of course, Bronco Nation News will be at, and then uh, at San Diego State on Friday. Uh, Colin and I will both be in San Diego for that one. Uh, and then they have their bye, and they don't play till the following Saturday. So no home game till the Wyoming home game in two weeks, and we'll see what Boise State's uh, record looks like. Uh, two big games coming up uh, before that. Um, South Dakota State blew a 23-point lead today. Is that what somebody says? That's a, if that's, if they, And they lost? Wow, that's going to be a bad loss for the uh, the computer numbers. Yeah, that probably keeps it as a quad four game, and I'm not sure they'll be able to dig out of that hole the rest of the season. That is a uh, I hadn't realized that, James. Yeah, that's a they had a tough loss the other night, and then uh, to lose that one, that's going to be a that's going to be a rough one to have that game stay quad four for South Dakota State. They really have not at all been the team that a lot of people thought they would be, and that's a rough weekend uh, for them. Uh, the starting five is powerful. Lack of a bench is the weakness. Yeah, no doubt about that. No doubt about it. The bench has to be better. Hey, Leon Rice, the head coach. Let's hear from Leon Rice after the game. Uh, Boise State wins it again, 80 to 59. And here's the victorious head coach after the Broncos improved to 17 and five overall, seven and two in Mountain West play. Working media and esteemed guests. So, quiet down, Dickie. We're we're working on it. In, in fact, Dickie, I'll let you come do this. <laughs> I think you can do better than me. Yeah. All right. You guys obviously played very well, and it seemed like every time Colorado State tried to make a run, you guys had an answer. I mean, uh, how impressive was that game tonight? Yeah, I was, you know, I was so impressed with the way, the, you know, I told these guys in the locker room that the way we prepared for it and the way we responded, to, uh, you know, we, we, um, we won that game against Fresno. What what we won't accept in losing, we don't tolerate in winning. And we did a lot of things that were out of our character in that last game. And um, these guys responded to that and had maybe the two best practices of the year. I saw this in practice for two days. And the staff did a great job with that and, and had them prepared. Because that's a hard team to guard. It's a hard team to prepare for. They. You know, you saw the different things they threw at us, a press, a zone, a matchup, a matchup to man. Uh, and then their offense is, you know, if you don't really dig in and guard them, 
and they, I think they scored 16 points in about the first five minutes of the second half. And, you know, if you don't do a great job on them, they'll score 100. And, uh, you know, our guys, some of them played some heavy minutes, and they were just tough enough to just grind and grind and, and possession by possession. And, but I'm, I'm most pleased in, in the, I mean, the 19 assists and eight turnovers, that's more like it, you know. And um, we got probably three of those turnovers on just sloppiness in, the, in our press break in the first half. And um, uh, the guys did a good job adjusting what we changed at halftime. And, and then it was not a factor. We didn't turn it over one time after that. But um, no, I was really proud of that because, like I said, 19 assists. But and I do remember four plays in the first half where we would have had four more assists, but they fouled. You know, you don't get an assist for that. So, I mean, you're talking 23 to 25 to 26 assists. That's a heck of a team uh, that's making each other better. Um, Buzo, what growth he's showing. I mean, he gets the block on the three, gets the ball, comes charging down the court, and old Buzo would have just, it would have been bowling pins. There was four guys lining up to take a charge. He would have knocked all four of them over and got the foul. He stopped kicked it to Jace and that was, you know, three. And that was a big time in the game. I thought that was a terrific play. And we had a lot of those, you know. So I'm really proud of the growth of this team that it's, you know, that we're, we're in February now and we're fighting to get better. And we did get better because that, you know, they've been in, you look at Colorado State, they've done an amazing job. I mean, they are, you know, we talk about teams that uh, they're so much better than their record. They lost in overtime, in overtime, in overtime by one. But you know, I mean, it's just crazy that the, the the so they've been in all these games, and I mean, they could easily be sixteen and five. It's just that final line, and uh, and for us to play like we did against them, it's it's hats off to my staff and the, and the players, no doubt. We talked a lot about, or we talked a lot about offense and efficiency with you this year. Tyson goes twenty. It's amazing, yeah, terrific, yeah. Just that, and that's what these guys are doing. They're getting more and more efficient, and they're getting better at making each other better, and they're getting better at playing off each other. I mean, I thought Tyson and Shave had just some beautiful Stockton and Malone uh, pocket passes, finishes. I mean, those two are clicking together now. And Shave, what a great second half he had after sitting that long. That's hard, and uh, I thought he managed the second, you know, second half just like an elite point guard does, you know, and he doesn't care who, you know, he's happy distributing. And he made a lot of, he's only credited with, uh, how many assists they give him? Five, but he probably had 10, because like I said, guys got fouled on a lot of them, so. With, with uh, Tyson, I mean, he's gotta be shooting near 70% from two. And, and yeah. Almost, how, how good has he been down low? Yeah, it's it's terrific. I mean, his footwork is great. His confidence is great. He slows down. He just does everything how you're supposed to do it in that post because that's the key to being a great post. You know, but like I always say, it's his versatility because he can catch it in the pocket. He can drive. He can shoot threes. He's such a hard guard because of his versatility, not just, you know, he's not just running down in the post. But And that's where him and Naj work so well together too because – you know, it's kind of like a Duncan Webb thing where you don't know who's the five, who do we guard with the five, who do we guard with the four, and they're they're a matchup nightmare. Burke Smith, is he yeah. earning those minutes? Yeah, absolutely, and I'm, I'm really proud of him, too, because that takes a lot, you know, to – those kids want to all play. Everybody on our bench wants to play, and they work every day, and they do – you know, Burke – He's on scout team all the time. He's and he's getting there early so he can learn the opponent's plays and help. You know, and we rotate it around some, but he spends a lot of time on there. And this isn't charity. I, I'm not. You know, it's not my job to just hey. You know, let's let me hand out lollipops and everyone gets one. It's you know that's not it. It he's earned every this opportunity, and I thought he went in and did a great job for us. You know, that's a lot put a guy in in this time of year when he hasn't played and and I thought he did a great job handling it and the, the guys wanted him out there with him and they believe in him and they believe in all those guys and and I think it's just one of those deals too how they practice how they show up how they keep competing 
makes a huge difference for us. And it might be, you know, I got a lot of different kind of pitchers in the bullpen. And if maybe if I need a lefty, I bring in a lefty. Maybe if I uh, need a hard throw on righty, I bring. A, what other kind of pitchers are there? Jay, help me out. I don't really know baseball quotes like you, like I know football uh, ones. Off speed, right? Right, exactly. Jamie Moyer, uh, one of those guys. Right. So I got those. So they got to understand that, but their value is huge to this team and their attitude and their. I you know I got great guys that way. Uzo had 13 assists on the season coming into tonight, and he had, he had seven in this game. He said that um, the, the staff kind of challenged him. So how, how did that challenge go down, and how do you think it played? Well, out? it's just, you know, it's all those things I've talked about. I, I keep telling, you know, I've said this a bunch of times in here. The Buzo you saw in game one, it, you know, you're going to look back on that. Well, you already do right now. That's a different guy than, than what you saw in that first night. And it's going to be a different guy in a month, and it's going to be a different guy in a year. And I mean, because he it means everything to him. And he's coachable, and he's. I saw that in practice. That 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 the last two days, I was like, wow, those guys are starting to get it. You know, as far as making each other better and how to do it, and and how it. You know, it's easy to just say, hey, let's make each other better. You you got to have a plan. And you got to be able to teach them that plan and and make it click. And then they got to be able to absorb it and go out and do it. That's what these guys do a great job of. When we emphasize something and coach something, they, you know, they're all, they, they go out and do it. And they're hungry to get better. I think Buzo only took one shot that wasn't a three and got fouled on it. Um, when he's making them like that, are you kind of like, oh, yeah, just keep staying behind there? Or do you want to see him? Well, I, I want him behind there. Okay. You know, we don't want bad twos, yeah. you know. We, we want, he's got green light. Take as many, when you're on balance, you got as many as those as you, especially, you know, there's a, heat check is real, you know. And he doesn't have to take bad ones, but keep shooting it. Yeah. When those guys are making them. Because the only way you can bother him or stop him is by fouling him. Because, you know, they call some of them, but I mean, the, those guys have to be on top of him to, to even impact him. And then, you know, they, I wish it was enforced a little more like the NBA because they get into a space where he has to come down. So, we, we, you know, I'm, I'm on him about that because he got to give the guy a place to come down, otherwise it's dangerous. He, he didn't sub until there was 6.45 left in the game. Uh, in the you mean in the second half? In the half, second right. half, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. It's just no Hot reason. shooters, hot shooters. I'm yeah. not going to take the dice out of their hands. That's not good. Uh, but they didn't. There was the, it was also the timeouts. There was, there was. They took one. There was a media. They took one. There, you know. I mean, and we took one too. So I was, you know, there were only like two minute sessions, and I, I was looking in their eyes. I was asking them. They like, no, no, we don't want. To. A, a couple of them got pretty tired. I think Naj and Max because they didn't have many uh, much rest in the first half. But I knew Shave could go, and Tyson's just a workhorse. He he likes to go, and uh, so. Um, and Buzo was was really feeling it. So we, I mean, we've asked a lot about the bench, need more. But I mean, is it the point now where I mean, is this a, maybe it is sustainable with the five starters just play the whole game? Well, and you know, points and it, it not not all. No, the the key is the bench because I thought Jace's second half was huge. I mean, those minutes were big for him to come off the bench, and we kicked that out because I think we're maybe up twelve or maybe twelve or fifteen, one of the two. And all of a sudden, that makes it 15 or 18. That you make that—that's big. You miss it, they come down and hit a three, now it's single digits. That's or you know whatever it was. Those are huge and get you over the top, you know. Because like I said, I think Max was tired there, and you know his shots weren't going as good as they were in the first half. And Jace came in not tired. Buzo kicked it out to him, and he shot it with confidence and made it. So those are huge. It feels to me, Lee, I'm like at some point Jace is going to win a game for you. Five or six threes. Well, I, I think so you know there's some there's some games that he's kind of put us over the top when we're struggling. That yeah, you know, um, uh, yeah, the, you got to have when you're in this grind of league, you got to have you can't have any bad minutes, you know, or, or a lot of bad minutes. So like that that shot was huge. He was he was one for two, but one for one from three, and that was big. So. Those things really, really matter. You need those. Tyson was the one missed shot away from tying Snaka Beer for that perfect performance from. Well, good. It gives him something so, to work for. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> no doubt. Put that into, into perspective. Uh, 
perspective a little bit for people that don't necessarily know that? I mean, how impressive yeah. is that performance? Yeah, that's, you know, it's interesting because I see these guys all the time and I, I'm not surprised. You know, when, it, when they do something like that, I'm like, well, that's, you know, that's Tyson. I'm not surprised. And, you know, we've watched him for a long time. I've, I've seen him do that kind of thing. And when he shoots, you know, I got a bunch of guys like that right now, especially, you know, that first unit. When they shoot, you think it's going in. You know, if they get a good shot, they're all great shooters, you know, and they've all found where their shots are coming from and they all, you know, like Nosh. When he does his Nosh things, you're like, that's going in. <laughs> they seem to. And, you know, so I think they, these guys are all settled into how they're playing with each other and, and that's, that's powerful. To, to lose the game the way you did in New Mexico and bounce back with two wins uh, at home and kind of, you know, right the ship or whatever and just keep it going. In the well, right I don't way. think the ship was wrong. Well, yeah. So I don't think we had to write it. I think the, um, the ups and downs and the grind of the season is more, you know, you, you, three on the road, one against Nevada that was a big emotional game and then a big emotional, you know, there's a lot, that, you know, there's only so much in the tank sometimes and you're going to have some ups and downs. Now, we've done a pretty good job where they're not big swings of ups and downs. I mean, you look all over the country and, I mean, I mean look at what Oklahoma did to Alabama today. You're like, oh, my God, that can happen because you're playing at a high level, high level, high level. Sometimes you hit a wall or, or things happen. And, and for us to have that consistency that we have, it's a reflection on their character and their toughness and their, you know, and the staff's ability to, and, you know, we, I think we do a good job of trying to give them days off when we can and be, you know, take what you need. If you, you know, those guys that aren't getting a lot of minutes have been coming in and working out because they want to play. And some of those starters sometimes just need to go away and breathe and get, get their tanks filled and come back ready to go. That's important. He said uh, heat checks are real. Maybe the rim doesn't lie either. That first Tyson three that bounced on the rim probably eight times. Shooter's uh, touch. That is the definition. <laughs> Shooter's touch. Uh, how about the one right before halftime too, where he goes in the lane. He, he actually finishes with the left there. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of the left floaters. So I, I think he was just trying to degree of difficulty. This is too easy shooting right hand. The old Larry Bird thing. <laughs> so. All right, so you know the other thing I'd like to say that um, that was an amazing crowd. You know, we play in all these places. I mean, we just played at the pit with fourteen thousand, and and then you go to San Diego State where it's like that. And you know, when they're introducing starting lineups at those places, you kind of get goosebumps. Like this is great. This is called. That's how we felt tonight when they were doing the starting lineup thing. I was like, this place is rock. I mean, this is great, and it makes a difference for our guys and. And this is a special team, no doubt about it. And um, you don't have that many chances to see them. You know, it, it's going quick. You're going to look back and go, I wish I would have went and watched them more. And So here's your chance, Wyoming, in two weeks from today. And, you know, we'll be back and we're going to go out and do battle on the road. And But we got to keep selling this place out because it makes a difference. You know, it, it's hard for people to come here when the place is like that. It makes a difference with our guys. I mean, like I said, we play guys heavy, heavy minutes. It's the energy of the crowd that's real and that keeps them going the way they can, you know, get through those tough minutes. There he is, Boise State coach uh, Leon Rice after the game. Again, Boise State wins at 80 to 59. We got a Chiefs fan in here, Chiefs Kingdom. Yeah, let's go Chiefs tomorrow. Would like to see that. Uh, Deggy seems like the guy to play the whole game in a tri uh, triple A. Uh, let's see. Rice is an amazing coach. You could be a very raw player, but if you give the effort and practice hard, he'll play you. If he's playing you, he lets you play your game. Uh, love how Rice doesn't micromanage his team. He's more like a counselor than a drill sergeant. Love it. Um, yeah, I mean, he let Burke Smith, a seldom used player, come off the bench like five minutes into the game and uh, let him shoot a three-pointer from the top of the key and like kept him in the game. He brought in two subs, and I thought, oh, there goes Burke. He let Burke stay in the game. I was surprised. So um, he gave him his chance. He earned his minutes based on how he's practiced, and uh, the result was uh, Big Mo and uh, Lucas Milner not even getting in the game. So I thought that was uh, very telling, the way they uh, the way they did that. Uh, Kareem says Niner Empire. Uh, I got Eagles Chiefs in the uh, Super Bowl, hopefully. Let's go Eagles Chiefs. How about that? 
but uh, appreciate everybody for checking us out. Hope you will go subscribe. Hopefully you're uh, liking what you see. 70 bucks for a full year. If you're new, uh, you get exclusive uh, daily emails sent to your email. You get uh, recruiting coverage, exclusive content. You got the uh, George Helani exclusive interview sent uh, first to subscribers. So a lot of benefits of being a subscriber. We'll, we'll send you a BNN shirt. Uh, and a couple of koozies if you want to sign up. We'll maybe find a round of golf or something else sitting around. Would love to have you. It's just uh, it's, it's six ninety nine a month if you'd rather do that, or you pay for the whole year up front, seventy bucks, get it out of the way. We'd love to uh, love to have that too. Uh, while you're at it, please go subscribe to our YouTube channel. We surpassed uh, two thousand today, and we're pushing forward. We want to get to uh, ten thousands our goal by the end of twenty twenty three. But uh, We've got over 2,000. We appreciate everybody. Uh, you just go to youtube.com slash Bronco Nation News. If you are watching right now on YouTube, please go subscribe at the bottom of the page there. It takes just a couple of seconds. Click on Bronco Nation News. Click on subscribe, and we would uh, love to have you. If you're watching on Twitter or Facebook, please switch over to YouTube and subscribe. Uh, that way you can get notified when we have live shows and things, and it's much easier to use that way. Don't forget to download the new BNN app as well. You're on your phone watching this right now probably, so when we finish up here, go download the app. It's in the App Store and Google Play. And uh, it uh, takes you to our website, all of our coverage from the women's game today, from gymnastics meet last night, from the women's game on Thursday, from this game tonight. Um, you can have uh, Bronco Nation News right there at your fingertips. Uh, go down on the new Bronco Nation News app. And, uh, again, we would uh, truly appreciate it uh, if you uh, did that. But, uh, again, Cutwater Spirits, more than 30 flavors, pre premium cocktails. Pick one up at your local gas station or grocery store. Our title sponsor, RowPaint.com, is offering that 15% special. Check them out, 15% off using the promo code BNN15. Lithia Ford of Boise, they'll buy your used car. Go on in, and uh, they'll make you a cash offer. Get more information, LithiaFordBoise.com, Idaho Central Credit Union. ICCU.com, better banking and uh, so much so much more, ICCU.com. TranscomService.com can help you get into the trucking industry. Check them out, TranscomService.com. Uh, Boise Dentistry Co., full of family dentistry, locations across the Treasure Valley. If you're looking for a new dentist, look no further, BoiseDentistryCo.com. United Commercial Insurance, 229-8222. You can write business policy insurance in 44 states around the country. Check them out, unitedcommercialinsurance.com. Ridley's Family Markets, find a location near you at shopridleys.com. There's 13 in the state of Idaho. And, again, go download that Ridley's app, exclusive savings. You won't be disappointed. The Blue and Orange Store, blueandorangestore.com, free shipping. Any order over $40, go get all your uh, new Boise State gear for the stretch run here of conference play and for the Mountain West Tournament in Vegas at the Blue and Orange Store. Matt Bauscher, Bauscher Real Estate, the number one ranked realtor in the Treasure Valley. No home is too big or too small for our friend Matt Bauscher. Get more information at BauscherRealEstate.com and Timberstone Golf Course. Play Timberstone.com. Go book your lesson with Ted Holloway and uh, get out there and use the range, the putting green, work on your game uh, so when you're ready for that uh, second annual Bronco Nation News Golf Tournament coming up uh, in June. We'll have some details on that hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Nathaniel chimes in that UNLV leads by three with around 10 minutes to go. May have to uh, put that on the uh, f- on the uh, iPad here while we're working on the story. Max coming back next year. Yes, he is. Uh, and that's pretty uh, crazy to think about. Kareem is saying uh, thanks, uh, BJ and Colin. Appreciate you, uh, Kareem. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's, let's get away from Colin over here. Where's Colin? There he is. Colin's doing a great job, as always. Appreciate it, Colin. As I said, three nights in a row, he's covering some BSU stuff and did a great job with the uh, highlight packages and things uh, that you see on YouTube. So if you came in late, if you missed the uh, highlights, you can go watch them again on YouTube. If you uh, missed the interviews uh, with uh, Nico Medved or either of the uh, Boise State ones, Coach Rice or the players, those are going to be on YouTube or probably already up by now. And um, all full coverage at uh, BroncoNationNews.com. So I am working on my story. I'm actually leading with a Nico Medved uh, quote where he talked about uh, I've, we've seen all the teams now, and I think they play as well as anybody. So uh, Nico Medved, very high uh, on uh, on Boise State. So, again, appreciate all of you for checking us out. Go subscribe, six ninety nine dollars a month, 70 bucks for a full year. We'd love to have you. And as Bill says, click the thumbs up, folks, uh, down there on the YouTube. We'd love to have the likes and things so it shows up higher in the uh, searches. And, again, it's free for the YouTube channel. These uh, pre- and post-game shows are a free service to you. Uh, thanks to our great sponsors like uh, Lithia Ford of Boise, RowPaint.com, Idaho Central Credit Union. So uh, please subscribe to the channel. Please uh, tell your friends. Consider a subscription to the website, BroncoNationNews.com. And uh, we hope you have a great rest of your Saturday night. Again, the final score, 80-59. to 59. Boise State wins this one a full hour. Uh, we went on the post-game show here. I always tell Colin this is going to be a short one. And next time I know I look up and we're at 58 minutes, 56 seconds here. So uh, a full hour. Uh, on the post game show uh, here for you with uh, highlights, analysis, uh, interviews, and more. And so uh, for Colin Mitchell, my name is BJ Rains. We'll talk to you Monday morning. We'll have uh, John Mallory and I 
Monday morning uh, to uh, break down this one, to kind of preview the Super Bowl a little bit for you. James, good to meet you tonight. James does a great job over there at the scores table with the stats and things. Uh, it was great to uh, finally put a name with a face there. James, thanks for coming over and saying hi. Uh, but again, Monday morning, Johnny and I will be on BNN uh, Live. And then uh, Tuesday, I am headed to uh, Colorado Springs at Air Force. So I think I may tape a show with Jay or may let Colin host on Tuesday morning. We'll see uh, how that's going to work. But I'll be in the air at uh, 9 a.m. on Tuesday. So, um, and then we'll have the live pregame show for, I believe, we're the only media outlet traveling to uh, Colorado Springs for the uh, Air Force game. So uh, Bronco Nation News will be there about a 6 o'clock pregame show from Clune Arena uh, before the uh, before the game uh, on uh, on Tuesday. So appreciate all of you. Have a great rest of your weekend. We'll talk to you Monday morning. Make sure you uh, go to bronconationnews.com and read our coverage. Uh, our story will be up in about an hour or so, and then you got plenty of other stuff with the uh, highlights and interviews and things as well. So have a great rest of your night. He's Colin Mitchell walking by behind the screen. My name is BJ Rains, and uh, we'll talk to you on Monday morning at 9 a.m. This has been uh, Bronco Nation News Live, the Lithia Florida Boise postgame show presented by RealPaint.com and Idaho Central Credit Union. Bronco Nation News, bronconationnews.com.